Afternoon guys, it's James here at Axapar London Group. Uh, hopefully you checked in last night to see the launch of the all new Axapar 22 Spider. A really exciting product. Uh, we've missed a boat in this size range from Axapar now since the 24 finished uh, earlier this year and this will be available for the 2021 season. Uh, really, really limited availability already. We've sold a number of boats off plan and it's been a great opportunity to get something back into the market that's trailerable uh, very much great for the um, for the new boater out there. It's a single outboard, and um, starting price is around sixty thousand euros on the water with a single one hundred and fifteen horsepower EFI Mercury outboard. Uh, for those that want to go a little bit quicker, uh, there's a one hundred and fifty option again at the EFI engine, uh, which will do around thirty eight thirty nine knots, and we're looking around sixty three thousand euros, including UK VAT uh, delivered here on the water. UK uh, base spec and then uh, the highest spec is with a 200 um, six cylinder engine which has got the digital throttle and shift which is a really nice um, spec and we're into sort of 42 knots with that engine. Um, running out full spec if you want to go loaded up with things like the, um, the U-shaped seating in the aft cockpit, a water system, a toilet, some navigation equipment and what have you, realistically you're on the water about 80,000 euros and then the last addition above that is obviously the launch of the new Joby package as well. So there's two levels, either a white uh, gel coat boat with some Joby detailing, um, or there is the full Joby Revolve pack, which has got the, um, the green boat with green gel coat matching in with their new paddleboard and water sports equipment. It looks amazing. Um, you'll see in a sec when we cut to the video launch from last night, what that looks like. It's a really special looking boat. And we're about 87,000 euros, including that on the water with a nice spec, all the toys, etc. Uh, boat 7.2 meters um, overall and we're about uh, it's, it's vague until we've specced one and weighed it but i would say about 2,000 kilos uh, without a trailer and um, with all the gear so stick a trailer on top we're about 2800 kilos so should be towable between most sort of um, decent sized uk family um, 4x4s um, so it's a great option if you want to keep something on the driveway at home and stick it on the back of the car, head down the M3 at the weekend, stick it down the slipway. Um, it's going to be a really, a really good option for that. Um, as you saw last night, they're now introducing also the option for a T-top. Um, so there's going to be some canopy options for those that want to use the boat um, in and out of season. Uh, it won't just be a full open boat. There's a number of different configurations on the cockpit seating, uh, whether you go with a completely open aft cockpit if you're into your fishing, uh, there's a u-shaped seating area if you wish to have something which is a little bit more of the social side uh, drops down makes a sunbed on the back um, there's also the option with a table in there and then the uh, last option is also with a big u-shaped um, seating removed and you go for a central um, sort of storage box with cushions on top um, which they can move in a number of configurations on the backrest so you either would sit um, sort of like a bus facing uh, out the side of the boat or fore and aft. So lots of different versatile options, as with Axapar's always, lots of different um, solutions for different markets. Um, and they've really thought about, I mean, it's got the boat's got even things like a holding tank if you go with the toilet system. Uh, so it's usable on inland waterways. Um, you've got a freshwater system, uh, chart plotter's standard um, base option, if you like, is a nine inch plotter as the first um, option and then you've got an upgrade to a 12 inch uh, with a depth sounder as well. There's a couple of uh, fusion audio packs with different numbers of speakers. Um, there's uh, lots of water sports equipment. If you go say with the Joby Revolve um, highest level pack, it comes with things like paddleboard. Uh, there's a big um, towable unit that fits in the forward locker area um, up on the bow. And then there's a little hammock system as well for, um, for lying out when you're at anchor. So, Really, um, really, really cool boat. Um, as it stands at the moment, there's no electric anchor winch option. Uh, whether we ever see that in the future, it's hard to say, but uh, it'll have a, as part of the mooring pack, there will be an anchor and there's a bow roller up forward. Uh, there will be potentially, it's not on the list at the moment, but we could do um, a synthetic deck option, um, either with like one of the EVA foams or a, a flexi teak type s -Tech deck uh, in whatever color you wish to uh, sort of personalize the boat. Um, so that's really about it. Um, I say it's, uh, it's very early days. Boat literally announced into the market last night with the live launch on the Axpar Facebook page. Uh, there is a further 
uh, launch coming out with some sea trial videos and what have you to see the boat running on the water for first time. Um, but now we're just going to cut into uh, some highlights of the presentation last night, which will give you a little bit more information about the boat. Um, if you'd like to know any more specifically about her, or of course the existing models in the range, which are the 28 and the 37, uh, say it's james at axapartlondongroup.com or my mobile plus four four seven seven four seven six eight six five eight seven we can talk through all the uh, all the available options to say availability and um, my office is based in in swanwick in southampton but of course we've got bases uh, across the uk so um, hope you've enjoyed a quick uh, insight into this model and uh, get in touch with us if you'd like to know more Welcome to the historical train factory halls here in Helsinki, Finland. These over 100 year old red tile buildings were once used for building wooden carriages and railroad cars for the growing industries of the young independent Finland. Tonight we are here to celebrate the world premiere of another transportation icon, the Axapar 22 Spider. Hi, my name is Thea, and I'm your host for this evening. Follow me. Hey, Anne. Hi, Thea. This looks amazing. Yeah, we're gonna have some fun here today. So welcome to the train factory and to the Oxopar venue. We live to explore beyond. With Axopar, it's all about where our boats can take you on your voyage. To experience nature at its purest and to break new ground. For those not choosing, the most direct route. Boating is all about freedom and the joy of discovery. We want to drive people to explore and expand their adventures. And nothing gets us more motivated than seeing our product on the water, creating excitement among our customers. Our boats take you closer to nature. You can feel the wind touching your skin. See the sunlight coloring the ragged, rough terrain. And enjoy the wave patterns covering the sea around you. Exopar. We are the adventure company. Inside of the beautiful train factory in Helsinki, and I have founding partner of Axapar, Jan Erik Vitala, with me. Welcome. Thank you, and welcome, Thea. This is a beautiful space, and I have two boats here, but they're not revealed yet. So, what's going to happen here today? Now you're going to be in for a treat today. We actually not have one world premiere. We have two world premieres here today. So the Oxapar 22, uh, which we actually have here beside me. And also we're going to celebrate and launch collaboration we're doing between a water sports manufacturer named Joby, which we now call the product called uh, Oxapar X Joby. So you're going to have a really exciting day here today. There will be a lot of discussion. There will be a lot of things we will go through and hopefully educate you a bit more about our company, what we do, what makes us passionate about what we're doing. Why did you want to do this like a web uh, launch thing? For us, it was pretty obvious. During the COVID situation, we have had almost every single major boat show in Europe and globally cancelled. Doing this web launch is really exciting. We have never done this before. So I'm a bit anxious how everything is gonna go. But Me too. <laughs> <laughs> but, but let's see, I think the evening will evolve quite nicely. Tell me more about Axabar, because I heard that you are mostly an adventure company. So we're a pretty young company. 
we came out to the market in 2014. That doesn't mean that we are an inexperienced boat company. We actually, all the people behind the company have founded different brands before. So the heritage from different brands has been taken as a carryover to the new development of all Axopar boats. All the team we're working with are long-term collaboration partners, and we've been through it, the good, the bad, the challenging stuff, and the success together with all the, all the previous brands also. So today, we have produced over 3,000 boats, and they 3, have been 3,000 boats, and these have been delivered everywhere around the world. You will be able to see an Oxopar in Thailand, Hong Kong, Colombia, to Canada, United States is actually our main market today. It was uh, the 28th was a great success for us, but it was really the 37 we brought out in, I think, 2016, which really became the backbone of our company. So we're mainly focused on building bigger outboard powered motorboats of the size range 28 to 37. But now we still felt that there is a need for us to try to challenge ourselves to make all the product benefits we have developed for the bigger siblings and trying to fuse this into a more compact size like the Oxapar 22 here today. Why did you need to do that? Is there a challenge. specific... Okay. Challenge. challenge. Doing a small boat is way harder than creating a big boat. How and come? That is, there are such a small margin of error when it comes to handling and drivability of the boat. There are small spaces. So in order to get all the spaces to work for all our customers all around the world, for them to be able to modularize their boats to their own use and to their own preference, that's actually more challenging than doing bigger boats. So why was the 28 such a huge success? One of the key benefits were that we were offering a versatile boat, again, that the customers can opt and choose to their own liking. Uh, we have one of the class best handling boats in that size range. It was also the looks of the product. It was new. It actually challenged a lot convention in the very traditional boating market. And this, as a package in whole, I would say, attracted a lot of customers globally to have a look at Oxopar and what products we are doing. Today, we are here for the premiere of the new Axopar 22 range. And we need another chair, please, because we have Jarko Jamsen. Welcome. Thank you. Thank and you two know each other, right? Yes. Oh, yeah, <laughs> a long time. Yeah, you have a, like a mutual love for beards. Uh, yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm the rookie. You're the rookie? Yeah, he, okay. he's, he's, he's playing in the big league. <laughs> so you are the architect? Yeah, I have been here with the early days, from oh, the start. Yes. From the start. Yeah. And we've actually been doing uh, other brands in the past together also. So I think 2007-ish? So, something like that. I yeah. think uh, it has been a long and eventful journey so far. Oh, yes. So. First question, are you ready? Yes. Yeah. What initiated the action part 22 from the idea to the product? That's a difficult one. But uh, <laughs> I think the key for us was we want to spread the same language, the same product for a bigger audience. And that's a difficult thing that we wanted to go in a smaller size. And I think that's the biggest thing for us to how we can translate that same product as a smaller size. And I think the key is just to make a, some kind of uh, entry-level boat or axle power range. So one thing was really important for us to take, especially the, the drivability and the versatility, the handling, and also take with us the, the cost effectiveness and, and being able to provide a boat that is also in this very, let's say, competitive market, still being able to provide a product that is new, fresh, with some new ideas, but also still keeping a good price point on the product. Absolutely, and I think that's uh, when we started to discuss with Janne and uh, the team how we can make that happen, mm -hmm. is the, how we can keep the, the end cost reasonable, because that's uh, highly important for Axopar, that yeah. it, we have to have uh, easy access for the products. So, and the transport cost is a key yes. feature if we go in Australia or something, we are produced in Europe, the boats. So that's why we had to find a solution how we can make the transport cost going down. 
the shipping by a container is so much more cost effective than transporting like we do all our bigger boats, the 28s and 37s on open flat tracks. So not only are they weather protected, they are also protected from any damage that can happen in very busy ports. And also the benefit that the boat will never be loaded or unloaded anywhere else than on the factory floor and at the dealer's floor. So that's one of the beauties, just talking about this one particular part alone. We yeah. quite often spend a lot of time in the engineering side, how to make yeah. the packaging something that makes sense. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people actually just see an end product, how it looks. And for us nerds, more or less, if I can <laughs> use that word, we go into more or less the things that you can't see, but you can experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the magic that happens that just makes a great product. Of course, Axopa, I think the bigger audience, it's about the, the looks. Mm -hmm. It looks a little bit odd or new or something mm -hmm. special. For us, still the bigger thing is inside. It's that invisible thing, what is in the engineering, the yeah, hull, yeah. the weight, the center of gravity. And Handling, that's it. Ex exactly, that, that, that's something what we push mostly. You called yourself an adventure company. Why? And because I heard a little bit, because I was talking to you both, that you do a lot of outdoor activities yourself. The whole story with Oxopart, the adventure company, actually has two ways. One is that each and every person that is working for the company is in some way a devoted outdoors person, seeking new experience in nature. What's really emphasized and what was really nice for us to realize pretty quickly is that all of our customers do the same. So just, you know, have a look at the backdrop we're having behind us. This is a typical day for many of our Oxoparians using their boats anywhere around the world. They're taking up, you know, they're taking their kayaks with them, tents, they go mountain biking, they go hiking, anything from kayaking to stand up paddle boarding. It's more about experiencing nature and the boat being the enabler for you to experience these things. So in that sense, we are not only a boat company anymore. I would say we, we try to bring an experience further, like product in our agency or in, in our offices in Vasa. We can share this with people in Germany. We can share this with engineers in Slovenia and, and then with Helsinki and more or less come up with the ideas before you were more or less fixed to physical meetings. Yeah. So, so that's one key benefit and i think technology. in that token it's interesting because you said wooden mock-ups yeah. th that's one thing it's a really classical way but i think it's a still one of the best that yes. you can use all the yes. senses but then virtual reality we did uh, many many years ago already a pipeline from engineering models to virtual reality to make vast loops to understand the product better and for us it has been as our company we are sharing the same feeling what you we pushed we want to push the boundaries and by that we have all the best uh, components uh, best tools be best programs also the cft yes has been a huge difference like when we started we mm. have what is cft uh, it's a computer fluid dynamics oh. so we can calculate the how the basically water moves how the pressures are in underneath of the water the or future the future is here <laughs> no in a way yes yeah. in a way yes but i mean there's the, the the possibility what we can do nowadays compared of the last first generation 28 is a good example absolutely that totally. manual work more or less absolutely and it's uh, the the chain has been so fast and uh, currently we can take those uh, numbers back so rapidly that we can make all the details and i think i would say that we have the efficiency of the our house has meant up i would say 35 percent yes if, if you try to bring the uh, the same product dna to smaller mm. scale and you know the expectation level what the market has as axopar product i think that how we can meet that when we bring the smallest boat in the market if uh, axopar user goes and tries that he gets the feeling that it's in the bar boat. Yeah, he still needs to get that wow sensation, Absolutely. even if it's a smaller boat. Yeah. So in short, what we wanted to do with the Oxopar 22 is to create a product for a younger clientele, in very short words, an Oxopar experience condensed. It was so nice talking to you both. Thank you, Thank you for this information. I learned something new, but now I want to see the boats.
Okay. Can we reveal the spider? Yes, Play two? Okay, absolutely. let's go. And now to the exciting part, the reveal. Yeah, you have the honors. <gasps> I do? Oh my God. Uh, That was so much fun! There it is, the beauty. So, Jarko, what do you think about it now that you see it for the first time? I have to admit, it looks absolutely fantastic. Yeah, you made it. Yeah, no, no, there's a big deal, <laughs> but it, it looks fantastic. No, absolutely. Totally speechless. Yeah, it's actually really nice to see how close we can come with virtual reality. When we wear the goggles, we, we see virtually this but once you see it in real life, and there's always a special moment when you see your product for the first time. It's, it's like giving, giving birth to a something new yeah. and exciting. And, and I believe with this product, we have really hit the soft spot on trying to attract new, younger boating clientele into boating as it is. Just, you know, the way the boat looks, how, how everything flows, how everything is, you know, like a compact Oxopar experience. Should we take a closer look? Absolutely. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Absolutely. So what we wanted to achieve uh, with the new Axopar 22 is to really keep all the core values we have on our bigger boats and just fuse it into a 22 footer. So with this boat, we wanted to create as safe, as stable, as nimble, and as fun boat to drive as any of our previous models we have had in the range. And I would say from our first initial sea trials, we've done a really good job in it. You will see that tomorrow. I when get we to go drive? Out, you get to drive tomorrow. So you will, you will, you will get, and I don't know how experienced a boater you are. Not at all. Okay, but that's really <laughs> good. The key benefit, what we wanted to do with this boat, to make it also easy to drive and safe for a new beginner to drive. This boat also has a lot of functionalities and also a lot of behavior that an experienced boater will also appreciate while he gets out on his boat. And he will instantly recognize the, the, the small things that just makes already a good boat an even better boat. But again, for a beginner, perfect boat to start with. Can you tell me a little about the hull and uh, how it... Absolutely, I can. <laughs> but it will be quite... Uh, I think we go quite technical now. This is actually the first time we have ever been explaining an Oxopar hull for the public. So let's start from the boat. So first thing, we have a quite big flare in the bow, always. And that's uh, in those extreme cases when we dip the water, boat a little bit deeper in the water, that deflects the water. And it gives a little bit more extra buoyancy. So it's really helpful in the heavier seas. This is a much more normal thing is the chine. So this is a normal thing what we have in Axopass. That's a chine and that deflects the water that comes up. But in a normal driving conditions, this is not in the water. So the water line is someplace in here. So that's something where the water normally hits. And then these are lifting strakes that bring the water down, gives a little bit more lift. Then we have the first chine that deflects the water. And then we have a so-called Axopass seeing it's a, it's a second sign, and that's used in a, more in a stern. In this boat, it's a little bit different, but I will explain that a little bit later. Next interesting thing here is the step. Actually, in Axopar boats, we have two steps. This is the first and the second step. What does uh, it do? The idea in the step is that uh, this part is high above water, and we have, uh, have a suction because the water come, goes in here. And this is the channel for air to go underneath of the water. Okay. And then we take a lot of air from here, and that basically make a platform of air and water and where the boat rides on. So that takes the track down. So we can say that the Oxopar, it, it's an air lubrication. So we are utilizing air to be sucked in between the hull and the water to create added lubrication, okay. less drag. And it's, it's also in the same time, it's a stability. So we lock the boat in a certain position. 
That's the reason for that. And then if we go in, a, in the extreme of the, the boat, we have to make this totally flat. So we can maximize the width of the boat in this level that gives the stability for the boat. Mm. This is by far the most complex mold we have ever made on any of our oxobars. Not even the 37s has any complexity close to this like we're doing with the 22. And that was mainly because we had three important benefits we wanted to bring for a consumer. First of all, of course, we wanted to have the boat fit into a container. Mm -hmm. Secondly, what we wanted to achieve is to have the maximum stability we can achieve on a 22-footer. And this is what sets apart a lot of competitors out there, that when you board, or when you're on board the boat, you're driving the boat, or you have it resting at anchor, it's very stable. Mm. It doesn't want to roll that much in yeah, the sea. Yeah. And that has a lot to do with safety, comfort, and also the handling of the boat. So it's really, you know, feels stable. And even when you take this out in bad weather conditions, whatever wave conditions you have again, you, it's always traveling on a balanced mm -hmm. uh, way. Well, we'll see in a couple exactly. of days. It's, it's <laughs> absolutely. Good to be for you. Also, it's on a trailer, so is that important to you to have the... Yeah, definitely. So the 22 is something for a new beginner. And there are a lot of cars capable of towing a boat of this size. So uh, first of all, we wanted the boat to be just this size and this weight because it can be towed be behind a mid-sized SUV or a big sized touring car. So in that sense, it's easy to take with you wherever you would want to go and uh, on an adventure. And here we have the beautiful engine. You want to talk about that? Yeah, all Axopars are powered by outboard engines. And the 22 is actually going to be powered by anything from 115 horsepower to 200 horsepower. My, actually, my favorite engine on this boat is the 150 horsepower. This hull what we have created in here, it gives an extremely flat uh, consumption. So the uh, full consumption in liters for nautical miles is about the same from 10 knots up to 30 knots. So it's just the tendency in these hull types what we make. So basically then all the engines work really well, but you can put a little bit higher horsepower, give a little bit better efficiency. Every model we make, we videograph, we photograph, we measure, we see trial, we test them. All this information we get, we, let's say, like reinvest into the new data and into the new figures we're getting. So in a, in a way, every new model that comes out of Oxopar, no matter what size it is even, the newest hull also represents the newest technology and the newest achievement in fuel economy, handling, drivability. And that is something that we really, you know, care closely for. Can you tell me a little bit about the functionality on board? Uh, yes. Uh, while the camera is panning behind us, yes. uh, you can see that this boat actually has a use of a configuration. The standard configuration you would buy if you were living in Scandinavia yeah. and you would just want to use that boat to get to your summer home in and out, fast, simple, no need for anything additional, just to have good storage. Yeah. But then when you want to build up, you can have it with the U sofa configuration you see behind us yeah. on both sides. So you can sit really good up to six people on the off deck of the boat. And also this boat now has a table added to it and also cushions so that you can really comfortably sit behind. Mm -hmm. And what you can also have as an extension to the U sofa is also a sun pad, which means that that boat will become a full sun lounge, oh. full width, full length on the back, uh, back of the boat. We are also now offering a T-top roof, which is, has been highly expected by our customers. Fundamental functionality of a T-top roof is to protect everybody on board from the, the sun. sun. But while the weather is nice, the one, two, three days we have here in Scandinavia yeah. in the summer, <laughs> yeah. uh, we still made an addition to the T-top roof that you can actually open it up now with zippers. So you can roll up the whole T-top roof to have it almost as a fully open boat. And then when the weather is bad, you want a protection, or when the sun is just too hot, then you just roll the roof back again and you have a full protective roof, which is the full beam of the boat. We are continuing this exciting day. We have still 
one reveal. Oh yes, we have the this... piece de resistance waiting for you now. Let's not keep anybody in any tension any longer. Let's now go and have a look how the Oxopar X Joby is looking like, guys. Are you excited? I'm excited. Yeah. Okay, let's go see how the boat looks. Drum let's roll. Do let's do that. Let's go. The reveal, number two. like it, Amsterdam? Yeah. This is exactly what Oxopar X Joby is all about. Joby brought out a 2021 new stand-up paddleboard. And we were able to get the whole graphic element of this one stand-up paddleboard transferred 100% into the boat. And this is just such a cool kit. So all the graphics, all the EVA decking, all the grab rails, everything is all now incorporated into a boat. Matching perfectly. Team Joby, this is the first time you see the boat. Netherlands, how many points? 10. 12. Uh, 12 points. Yeah. So the first impressions. It's, uh, I'm, I'm almost getting a little bit emotional here. It's beautiful. I will love getting this boat out on the water. And especially, I would dream about taking this somewhere. I don't know, Mallorca, Italy, Florida, wherever. Uh, well, we're in Helsinki now, it's November, so we will be doing some cool stuff later on in our sea trials, but it's not going to be in any nice warm weather at least, but it's still going to be fun tomorrow. Yes. So every Oxopar X Joby is having a water ski pole always standard. This boat is having the multi-storage compartment where you can now actually sit in two different ways, yeah. lengthwise or traverse, and also there will be a great storage underneath for all the gear you can bring. So you can lock it and leave it on the boat. Even this? Even that. You deflate it, you put it in its own pouch, and you leave it in the boat. Also, another cool feature we did is in the front of the boat. And I haven't seen that on many boats at all. And that's actually a hammock we developed together with Joby. I love so, hammocks. Hammock. <laughs> so that will be a perfect place to relax during anchoring, for kids to enjoy, play around with, and just another cool addition of, of the creativity we can do with two great companies working together. This is now with a turquoise gel coat color mm -hmm. with a full graphics kit with the full revolve lettering on the whole side. Yeah. But you can also get a boat completely in white. And that also looks really astonishing. You will see that boat when we go out and sea trial it. So we have actually selected so that we are not going to show only the same boat we see here. When we go out on sea trials, we have different boats for that. Again, different emotions and different appearance. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to taking you out on the water, Nate, tomorrow. I can't tomorrow. wait.